Examples of machine learning in AI take zero. This is a quick video. Uh, that's a follow-up to what is machine learning and what is AI. So examples of machine learning, the two most common examples, facial recognition and speech to text, okay? And then examples of AI, let's do personal assistant, okay? So let's say Siri. Yeah, well, well we could do self-driving car would be perfect one, right? But I will, I'm gonna use personal assistant so that we can use both of, you know, but personal assistant, so this would be uh, Siri or Alexa, okay? All right, it, we wanna drive home the difference between machine learning and AI. So examples of machine learning are, is facial recognition. The machine learning algorithm for facial recognition is only concerned with one thing, and that is accurately identifying a face. What it does is over the course of time, when I, every time I scan my face on my iPhone here, I use, I use uh, facial recognition to unlock my phone. The machine learning algorithm is only concerned with acquiring the knowledge of what my face is. Now, I gain weight, I lose weight, I get a tan, I lose a tan, I have a different haircut, um, I wear sunglasses, I grow a goatee, I don't grow a goatee. So when, when the machine learning algorithm originally identifies the points on my face to say, okay, I, I think I, I know what face I'm looking at. Well, that's a snapshot in time. Over the course of many, many times scanning my face, the machine learning algorithm is concerned with just determining how accurately whether or not the face I'm looking at right now is a face I looked at previously. Okay, that's what it's concerned with learning. It is acquiring the knowledge of that face and all of its variations, right, as it changes over time. Speech to text. When I say, hey Siri, hey Siri, what time is it? It's 11.59. So Siri is concerned with two things. Number one, identifying my voice. I'm the only person who's supposed to be able to activate this specific Siri on this specific phone. Okay, she's concerned with two things, identifying my actual voice and accurately determining what it is I said. And she uses data over the course of time to determine is it the voice I heard before and what is that voice saying, okay? That's what machine learning does. That's an example of machine learning. Here's another example of machine learning. Well, Waze is a perfect example of machine learning. Waze determines my travel habits. Here's a little known fact. The GPS that I have in my phone Okay, the GPS that I have in my phone sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes my phone determines I'm in a place I'm not actually in. The machine learning algorithm is gonna determine whether a set of GPS coordinates that was plotted in my database in here were, is an anomaly or whether I can, it, machine learning can trust those data points, right? In the, in the very beginning days of GPS, if you had gone to google.com forward slash location while you were logged into your Google account, and you had an Android phone, you would be able to see every location you had ever been plotted on a map. And occasionally you would see a plot that Google had determined you had been in a place you had never had been. Well, it was because their machine learning algorithm hadn't learned enough about you yet to determine that you definitely had not been in that place. So they, it was actually inaccurate. Over time, it became more and more accurate. That's machine learning. AI, on the other hand, is concerned with optimal outcomes. So it uses information that's gleaned from machine learning, things like what's Walker's face and what did he actually say. So here's an example. I would say something like, hey, one of you two, um, where should I go to dinner tonight? So not give me directions to such and such restaurant, but where should I go to dinner tonight? The personal assistant's going to make a recommendation to me based on the previous restaurants that I've gone and eaten at and reviews that I've submitted on Yelp or information that I've, previous times that I've asked for directions to certain types of restaurants. The personal assistant, the AI, is going to make the optimal recommendation for where I should go to dinner. So in, in manufacturing, a question we might ask AI is, hey, personal assistant, which of my machines should I turn off, okay? And what the personal assistant is going to tell us is the one that will cost us the least amount, of, we will lose the least amount of money by shutting down this machine. So let's say that I'm a steel facility operating in upstate New York and we have a tenuous power grid, 
okay? And this is common. I actually was an engineer for New Core Steel for many years. And in the summertime, when air conditioning, when people had all their AC on on 90 plus degree days, New Core Steel, because they had an electric arc furnace, would get a phone call from NYSEG saying, hey, listen, you have to shut down for 10 or 12 hours tomorrow, you, or you have to get your power consumption down below X by t t for 10 or 12 hours tomorrow. Well, engineers, individual engineers would have to make the determination which pieces of equipment to shirt, shut down. Well, invariably, we would always decide to turn off the electric arc furnace because that was the biggest consumer of power. But what AI would be able to do is we could ask AI the question, we have to get below X tomorrow, which of our equipment should we shut down? And based on the, the, the information that AI has learned from which part of our process is the most expensive, least expensive, which ones have the, bi the biggest variables, which one consume the most, most amount of power, which are most profitable. The AI personal assistant has information the engineer didn't have, and it can tell us, hey, wait, no, it's not the electric arc furnace that you should shut down tomorrow. It turns out you should shut down the stacker and you should run this product that only needs to use three of the stands in the rolling mill and not 12 stands in the rolling mill. If you shut down nine of the stands in the rolling mill, you're gonna get the same power savings. And if you run product A, as opposed to product X, which requires all 12 stands, it may spit out a more optimal decision, which is more profitable for the business, right? So that, again, those are examples of machine learning and AI. Machine learning is accurately predicting which face you're looking at, accurately predicting which voice you're listening to and what they're saying. The AI is the personal assistant telling me which restaurant I should go to, making the decision for me, the optimal decision based on the accurate information that's been collected by machine learning, okay? All right, there's the examples.